a while back I done a video about Octopus app. Basically, Octopus app, Octopus app allowed you to map your keyboard and mouse inputs into the any Android game and play like with the keyboard and mouse support. The app wasn't working most of the time and the permissions was, um, they are a bit flaky. I used this app a while back, done a video or two, then I done another video um, just talking in general about the, uh, the suspiciousness of the permissions that this app is requesting. And since then I was not constantly, but spending day or so every week, um, trying to find a different way how I can map my keyboard and a mouse to any Android game and play like with a proper keyboard and mouse support. This is the Fly Digi Bluetooth USB adapter that allows you to map keyboard and a mouse inputs to the Android game. Inside the box, I received the the actual the uh, the actual device. So it's Fly Digi uh, Q1, the USB Type B, two USB Type A cable, completely foldable stand. And I tried this with the with the portable monitors. I tried this with the Galaxy Tab S6. It's basically, this is how flat it is. And once you unfold it, there is a 75, 68 and 60 degrees angle. I'm gonna use my Galaxy Tab S6 in this video. The reason being is not because I'm gonna use the DeX with the Galaxy Tab S6. It's just this app doesn't work properly in DeX. So sorry guys, in this video, I will show you this app, but only for Galaxy Tab users. Maybe you can do the same thing on a phone and then screen mirroring on a bigger screen. I'm just gonna do this all on a Galaxy tablet, just because like I said, it doesn't work properly inside the DeX. Right, first thing, I need to supply power to this. Obviously I can use this cable, but it's too short for me to get this all set up. So I'm gonna use my wireless charger cable, which is much longer here. So I'm just gonna connect this and do a screen recording of, the, of my Galaxy tablet. So I'm just gonna run the app, uh, which is called Fly Digi. So once it's running, it says uh, Q1 is not found. And as you can see, I have a couple of games already uh, tried to use it with this app. Like for example, Gods of Boom, Death Effect, uh, Legends, Ethereum, and etc. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna supply the power to this. There's an on-off switch on the side. I'm just constantly leaving on. So what that means, as soon as I click in power, the app should detect that it's connected. And now it's giving me a message saying, keyboard and mouse is disconnected. So now let's grab just a standard USB mouse, nothing fancy, and connect that into one of the ports on the, on the side here. So I'm just gonna connect to this port. So once you connect it, it detects that the mouse is connected and the message disappears. But then I need to get the keyboard connected as well. So I'm just gonna get the keyboard connected and here we go. And that's it, the app is ready to be used. Obviously I don't encourage you to uh, use it uh, with the games that is meant to be played on the mobile devices, but you're gonna use this with the keyboard and mouse, obviously you're gonna take advantage of against other players. In this video, I'm gonna try the game Gods of Boom and Dead Effect 2, and you will see that I'm a rubbish at the gaming and I'm still getting owned by other players, even if I'm using keyboard and mouse. So first thing, that's gonna, we're gonna go into a dead effect. And there is a, a message pops up at the top or like a bubble, I tap on that, and that's it, I click edit and I can edit the layout of my mapping. So we're gonna just go uh, cancel this and we're gonna go apply, we're gonna press play. I'm gonna press continue. I try to do a bit of remapping and this, this, this kind of setup works 50, 60% of the time because the mouse pointer not always been detected or mouse, mouse movements not always been detected. But as you can see, I'm using the keyboard and a mouse, move around, so E, I'm gonna tap on this. Not everything is mapped, so I'm just gonna tap on the screen instead. So the game is loading, and uh, we're gonna just move the key keyboard away. I just wanna put the tablet a bit away from, from me. me. Here we go. So it's loading, and here we go. I am inside here. Uh, it's all works fine. So as you can see, it's straightening as well. Uh, let's pick this up. Let's go. Actually, I need I need a bit of sound here. So there's a monster here. R is for reload. So as a, most of the shooting games on the PC, and you go, mouse mouse got stuck. So I need to twist the mouse rapidly, left and right, for it to get detected again. So it might be a deal breaker in a quite tense situation when they, uh, you're about to get owned by the monsters, like in this game by the zombies, and um, you will get basically killed because the mouse pointer just doesn't work properly. I just stopped. A uh, Q mapped on the top right hand corner, there is a, a 
gun switch, I mapped that when I press Q, initiate the slide on that or the slide effect, or slide action on that specific area on the monitor, on my Galaxy tablet. So that's how I can uh, I can basically re uh, switch the weapons. Okay. Like I said, the mouse pointer jumps a bit small, but the a quick rapid movement sideways and it becomes uh, active again. So here we go. I will quickly show you how I roughly I can do remapping. So for example, there is a button here on the top left, which goes into a menu. I want this to become M, for example, for menu. So we're gonna press play. I'm gonna bring this bubble, tap on it. I'm gonna select Dead Effect 2, click Edit, move this one all the way up to the left. And then it says, press, uh, please press the keyboard or mouse button to add this. I'm gonna press M. That's, it, that's what it is. If I'm gonna go into settings, I can select what kind of things it's gonna do. Is it gonna do a arrow association, uh, etc. swipe. As you can see, there is a drive on off. It's, it's a lot of things macro. I can assign to do macro. So when I press this, it's gonna do that, 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 and that. So for example, I can select when I press R. It's gonna reload the weapon, switch to another one, reload the weapon, switch to the third one, reload the weapon, switch back to the original one. So you can go all the way like this. I haven't done a lot of configurations like that, but basically that's the idea. So if I'm gonna save it, and now if I'm gonna press M, it's gonna go in the menu. If I select something else, instead of play, um, it's gonna go and work play. While, while this mouse and keyboard is connected to this Flight DJ adapter, it doesn't work that you will get the same way when you connect mouse and keyboard directly to your Galaxy device. You can't interact with the DeX or you can't interact with the Galaxy device, with Android device using this way, but it's just purely interacting inside the game. So this was Dead Effect 2, now we're gonna go Guns of Boom. So straight away, the layout is being brought up, uh, what I already so far configured for this game with this setup. So it's still loading, so here we go. So if I press Q, as you can see, it does something, but it doesn't work, so I'm always gonna select uh, select this weapon. And as you can see, mouse moves. And So right now we're just gonna wait for 10 seconds or so for people to start up, join the game. This game doesn't require you to uh, um, do shooting, it's automatically start shooting the enemies as soon as you basically are aiming at them. So as you can see here, so there's gonna be somebody here. Mouse, mouse stuck. As you can see, I can't do nothing with the mouse. And that's where the, here we go, mouse working again. It's weird, I'm not sure if this actual, my mouse is bad or actual uh, part like DG's having a, uh, problems detecting the mouse or just actual mapping is wrong. Cause if I'm gonna go to mapping, for example, I'm gonna select boom, I'm gonna edit, uh, go this up. That's where the uh, mouse point is, is in the middle. Let's actually uh, increase it. So I'm gonna uh, increase this to be at 70 by 70. So mouse pointer or the area where the mouse pointer is being uh, or will interact is much larger. So maybe that's what's gonna happen. So we're just gonna go, watch out guys. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm rubbish at these kind of games. Uh, I played this uh, Guns of Boom on my tablet a while back. That's how I got a couple of like experience points to level up, uh, but I never played with the uh, with the keyboard and mouse because it just can't be. I think this is, uh, this is unfair to, okay. R is for load, at least that's working. I think that's all I had to do is increase the area of effect. Oh, I got owned from a corner. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do now to close it, I'm just gonna tap back, back again, and disconnect everything. And that's it, and that's it. That's all, it's the way set up. I'll leave the link to this in the description below for you to go and check it out. I got this from AliExpress. Thank you much for watching. By the way, if you know any other things like these, that you want me to check it out. Just leave a link in the description below, contact me over Twitter or Instagram or by email, and I'll have a look what I can do, uh, try to get my hands on it and test it out. I will keep testing this and trying to figure out how this can work on the Samsung DeX. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, goodbye.